Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. Keen viewers might be wondering where part 1 is. Well, like the Matrix movies, I've decided to turn a successful one-off into a mediocre franchise. So my previous video about effectively starting my character is now part 1 of the perfect playthrough series. In that video, I created a new character and started him off at level 16 before leaving Sanctuary by scrapping everything and building and scrapping shelves. In this video, we're going to get filthy rich using the same technique as the Nestle Corporation. Water. Water is life. Water is power. Purified water is tremendously valuable, so by creating a large water farm we will no longer have to worry about caps. For this section, we'll need to have at least 6 Intelligence and 6 Charisma, though I would prefer to have 10 in both. We'll need a rank in Science to unlock the Industrial Water Purifiers. We'll also need 2 ranks in Local Leader to set up shops in our settlement, and eventually at level 20, we'll want to unlock rank 2 of Cap Collector. We should naturally be able to get to level 20 through Settlement Development. I'm going to start building this even before heading to Concord to help the Minutemen. There is a reason for this, but you'll have to wait for part 3 to see why. The goal of this video is to create a permanent water farm which will give us enough purified water to buy anything we need and make caps essentially obsolete. By the time you finish scrapping in Sanctuary, you should have enough materials to build two industrial water purifiers and two medium power generators to power them. Once we have that, let's head to Red Rocket and pick up dog meat. Next, we'll need access to a vendor who we can sell our water to and buy more junk to build more water purifiers. We could use Drumlin Diner, but that will interfere with a random static spawn location, which we will need to keep undisturbed. So the only vendor we'll have access to is the Angelic Trash Can Carla. Head south, just outside of the west edge of Concord to avoid interfering with anything there and meet up with Carla, who reminds me of Jerry Blank from Strangers with Candy. Be sure to use the sarcastic option during the first dialogue to unlock a permanent discount on her wares. We don't need to buy anything from her now. Interacting with her will initiate her path between Drumlin Diner and Sanctuary. Now fast travel back to Sanctuary. Unused purified water will be stored in your workshop aid tab every 24 hours of in-game and 8 minutes of real world time. Be sure to empty the water from the workshop as it will not add more purified water if it's already in your workshop. It's best to remove all aid from your workshop and store it in a separate container until you're ready to use or sell it again. Now sleep for 24 hours and see if Trash Can Carla is in town. If not, wait another day and check again. She should appear every 3 days or so based on my experience. Sell your purified water to her and buy as much junk as you can. Focus on the materials that you need for building more industrial water purifiers and more power generators. Also, build a recruitment beacon and power it so settlers will start coming to your town. Send a provisioner to Red Rocket and build a recruitment beacon there as well. As you continue to build up, you should start to build up your caps. When you have extra caps, build stores in your settlement and assign settlers to them. Stores will give you other vendors to sell your purified water to and build up caps faster. The general goods vendor will also allow you to buy more junk to use to build more water purifiers faster as well. You shouldn't build multiple shops of the same type because all of their inventories are connected. Even if you build a general store in Sanctuary and in Red Rocket, you won't be able to buy or sell any more things because their inventories will be connected with each other. It's best to just build one of each type of store, start with level 1 stores, then move to level 2, and when you reach level 20, build level 3 stores. While you're waiting for the 8 minutes of real world time to pass, start building up your settlements. Make sure your happiness is high in both settlements so you'll get settlers faster. Before we head to the next video, our goal is to have a water farm with over 900 water. Our combined settler count between the two settlements should be at least 20, and we should have one of each level 3 shop in Sanctuary. There are six of them. As you can see, we've accomplished just that, and now we're ready to move on to the next part. We haven't done a single quest, and we've barely left Sanctuary, and we've set ourselves up perfectly for the next part. 
To give you a hint at what we're doing next, it's something that I've never accomplished without the aid of a console. However, by setting up our settlements in this specific way, we've at least got a shot. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, remember to survive in the wasteland. You gotta be efficient.